and it gives you fresh trouble. You've got to look after yourself too. Now, how are you going, Chef? You ready? You ready to, to go? I don't want to end up, you know, Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I said earlier, for those who didn't catch me, that, in my opinion, this man is the best truffle chef in Melbourne, by a mile. And all of the other Melbourne chefs know that. This man is the most respected senior chef in our village. And it's been my pleasure to work with Philippe as, uh, from the very first Truffle Festival where he was executive chef. He created a superb menu for the very first ever festival we did at the Caulfield Racecourse four years ago. We've been in a partnership ever since and it's a, been a, such a pleasure to work with uh, Chef Philippe. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. I take my hat off, my, my hat off to you. Now, Chef will tell us in a moment about the dishes he's going to show. So, we try to use, of course, the best egg possible. This is organic egg from Queensland. Um, it's, um, it's a farmer called uh, Willowsen who delivers. Not Qu did I say Queensland? Yeah. No, Gippsland. Sorry. Gippsland. <laughs> a little bit closer to home, ladies and Cl gentlemen. Close enough. Um, so, yeah, they call Willowsen. They deliver eggs in the city every week. Yeah. The organic, beautiful eggs. Mm. So, it's quite important to use uh, good eggs. Chef, uh, you would you might use uh, uh, infused eggs for this dish. So, yes, this is right. What you can do when you when you decide to uh, to do scrambled eggs or any dish with eggs and milk or cream, you can infuse the truffle with your eggs together. You know, you put your eggs in a in a container, oh, and put yep. the truffle inside, and cover it for a few days and your eggs will smell, the, tro the aroma will be fantastic, truffle flavor. And the, it's the egg yolk that actually takes up the, uh, the egg truffle yolk, flavor. Exactly. Yeah. So in our egg meringue, we're going to put some truffle. Yep. Uh, we're having some truffle. Some truffle. We are going to eat. So what we usually do in the kitchen, we use a, when we use a truffle, we use a skid for uh, chopping Jesus. or micro micro plating, yep. um, and then we use the rest of the truffle to slice to put on the top. And what we're trying to do when we're microplaning or when we're using a truffle slicer is we're trying to make it as thin as possible uh, because what that does is it maximizes the surface area contact between the truffle and the ingredients that you're working with. And that means that the truffle can work most easily with its partner ingredients. So all the skin goes inside the egg. And then I'm going to chop a little bit of shallot. <laughs> can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Yep. Sort of. Everyone can see in the mirror? Yep. Look at those knife skills, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I go slowly. <laughs> can you imagine if I cut myself? <laughs> So important always to have a sharp knife huh, when you're in the kitchen. What kind of knife are you using there, Chef? Uh, they actually, this one are Japanese knives. Oh, knife. I was going to say, it looks yeah, like Japanese. Yeah, Japanese yeah. knife. Yeah. You know, you never cut yourself with a sharp knife, but you only cut yourself with a bad knife. Just for those don't, who don't know, um, don't forget that. earlier in his career, uh, Philippe went to Japan on behalf of uh, Chef Paul Bakus to open a uh, Bakus restaurant in Tokyo. And then I think later in Hong Kong and North America as well, Chef. Uh, yes, Hong Kong, um, America. Really not um, America. And then, yes, and then Mr. Bakus sent me um, in, um, in Melbourne in 1991. Uh, and we're so glad he did. Yes. 
Um, so it's 25 years. I saw that shoes and I thought um, we will. <laughs> can I say? Can I promote something? Yeah, of course. We 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 doing um, a 20 my 25 years yes. anniversary yes. Uh, dinner at the restaurant on the 30th of June. And I think Rita uh, Ehrlich is going to join us. I hope. Rita I think she comes back the day before, doesn't will she? Will be the MC. Yep. Um, and then a few chefs who work with me over the years, such as um, Scott Pickett. Yep. Uh, from Estelle. Yep. Uh, also, we have Stuart uh, Bell from Ten Minutes by Tractor. Uh huh. Uh, Joe Vergato from Massey and Mr. Bianco. Fabulous. And a few other who will uh, be in the kitchen with me. So they will each uh, cook a dish. Marvelous. So on that one's not to be missed. On the 30th of, uh, 30 of, of June. June. Yes. yes. So 25 years in Australia. I don't think it will be another 25 years. So I'll do it, I'll do it now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just in his remarks a moment ago, this is this is the mark of the man. You'll notice that when Chef was referring to Paul Bacuse. We're not, we don't talk about four first names, or to Philippe, who's been a, a global ambassador for Paul Bacuse, one of the best known chefs in the world, after whom the Culinary Olympics for Chefs are, are named. Yes. Philippe always refers to Bacuse as Mr. Mr. Bacuse. It's well, respectful. We, yes. we it's call respectful. Mr. Bacuse or Monsieur Paul. It's one of the things yeah. I love about Philippe and about the culture uh, of uh, the kitchen uh, around uh, Philippe, and that's why all of the other chefs have trained with him, like Scotty Pickett and and, uh, and others. That's why they all love this man. Thank you, Nigel. Okay, so now we can start um, to whip our egg. Oh, quite a bit of uh, truffle soup. Nigel, can I use that? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, that's aioli. That's not what I want. Salt. So a bit of truffle salt. A few drops of lemon juice. So I'll try to use that. Don't, oh. la don't laugh at me, okay? It's working, actually. Um, it's what kind of consistency are you looking for, Chef? Um, hard. Yeah. It's happening slowly. Yeah. Just while Chef is uh, is uh, beating over there, I just want to say thank you to the Truffle Melbourne volunteers uh, during this. This is a, this is a plug and a thank you. So I want to say thanks to all the volunteers who worked on the stand here, who worked on the stage. Thanks, guys. Without you, Truffle Melbourne wouldn't be happening. Can everybody give uh, volunteers a big bit of a hand? Thank you very much, guys. We love your work. This truffle juice, by the way, that Chef is using, uh, there's, uh, there are two different uh, uh, jus uh, on the Truffle Melbourne stand, and you can get them online as well. If you, uh, Chef is really going to show us how to work magic with the jus in a moment. Um, and people are a bit scared of that, that product because, as I mentioned before, Australians are, it's never been introduced to Australia before. Um, but it's actually very simple to use, and it's a beautiful base for sauces. If you're making sauces uh, any time, even during truffle season, uh, it's a superb ingredient to work with. Slowly. Slow. It's Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 
Yep. Uh, question is, when you open the uh, jar or the can for the juice, how long does it last for? It usually lasts for about a week in the fridge. And there are two sizes. There's a small one, reasonably priced, and then there's this larger size. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Scurmy! 